Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to First Out. I'm Rusha Chakraborty. And I'm Mohammad Intias. First, a look at the headlines. BBMP candidates trained to be better politicians. Commuters face problem as the city lakes emit toxic froth. Now, the news in detail. 20 candidates trained and 50 endorsed by the Bangalore Political Action Committee for a better Bangalore. Rusha Chakraborty has news in detail. Course is a prerequisite for almost every professional field, including politics. B Clip or Bangalore Civic Le Leadership Incubator Program is an initiative by Bangalore Political Action Committee, which aims to produce responsible future politicians for a better tomorrow. This year's BBMP elections will see a new variety of candidates. Twenty people who have been trained under the B Pack. Civic Leadership Incubator Program, known as BCLIP, are contesting the elections. BCLIP started off like an idea two years ago to bring in more transparency and accountability in the third tier of political leadership by training interested citizens who can be the future of politics. So we gave them a lot of uh, training on issues relating to civic matters, which normally BBMP is concerned with, issues which concern citizens on a day-to-day -day basis. There is no training for political people. They come from varied backgrounds, but as a corporator, there is a role that he or she has to fulfill. So we thought this would be a good way to get them familiarized with the role that they are supposed to perform. BCLIP is a nine-month program in which three months are dedicated to theory classes and the remaining six months constitute field work. During this time, the students engage with citizens and undertake ward mapping exercise so that they can understand the micro-issues of the ward. 100 students enrolled for the program, out of which 20 people are going to run for the elections. First and foremost, I would like to thank the PAC. Uh, Kiran Madam, Jagat Sir, Devati Madam and all others for giving an ordinary citizen like me an opportunity to go and contest the election from a very clean and ethical party that is Lokhatta party. Apart from training, BPAC has also endorsed 50 candidates from 81 wards across Bangalore who had met BPAC's endorsement criteria. What typically happens is mm, Voters are very unsure, especially in corporator elections, which is very widespread and micro. Uh, people don't know their corporator at all. They don't know who is good, who is bad, what is their background, what is their uh, background check, etc. So we said that if we start this exercise, we may not be perfect, but we start this exercise. And with this, we can educate voters. Recently, in a press conference, BPAC has released their list of evaluation criteria and also the names of the candidates endorsed. This is to help the people of Bangalore select their cooperator logically. With camera person Mohammed Imtiaz and Anirvan Dettyari, this is Rusha Chakraborty for Comets TV. Commuters and locals in the Belindur area are facing difficulties as toxic flying frog is being discharged from the adjacent Belindur Lake. Anirvan has a special report. Commuting in Bengaluru is difficult enough due to heavy traffic and potholes. To add on, now there is filthy flying froth from the city lakes. The Belandur Lake earlier made news when these toxic contents caught fire. And now, as the election is around the corner, the situation has only worsened. Further on, the bridge which passes over this lake is lying in a dangerous condition. The residents believe that the probable reason might be the untreated waste emitted from the housings and industries which surrounds this lake. Chemical jada, chemical jada, wo company wala, both company wala hai, wo company wala, the chemicals discharged chemical from the factories are causing this fraud. This causes a lot of problems, especially during monsoon. Not only Belandu Lake, a similar visual can also be seen in the Vartul Lake. The lakes are so filled with weeds that one can hardly see water. As the locals say that despite several complaints, nobody has done anything. As a result, the beautiful water bodies, which were so far matter of pride for Bengaluru, are slowly moving towards extinction. 
जी सब्जी कस्टमर आता नहीं है चला जाता है कस्टमर्स अवॉइड विजिटिंग माय शॉप बिकॉज ऑफ दिस ऑर्डर हाउ लॉन्ग विल दिस कंटिन्यू नोबडी लिसंस टू अस दे से दैट नथिंग इज इन देयर हैंड्स आई एम फेड अप क्यों क्या करना कोई बोलता है तो सुनता नहीं है चला जाता है बोल बोलता है हम लोग का हाथ में क्या है वो हम बोलते बोलते थक गए और बोलने का और वो नहीं है Ironically according to recent Swachh Bharat ranking done by the Union Urban Development Ministry Bangalore has been said to be the cleanest state capital in our country The ruling party in the Bellantur ward claims to take immediate action as soon as the BBMP elections are over So what we are planning after coming into power we will sit with the BBMP officials and the engineers and uh, we will see what step we can take the uh, first step is to uh, clean clean the bendur bendur lake uh, make it free from all the wastages chemicals that the uh, industries are depositing uh, and the smell uh, because and uh, and ensure that there are no diseases caused due to the lake and it will be very useful for the uh, bendur uh, village people but such a change would take a lot of time experts say that the toxic froth has combustible chemicals containing phosphorus which caused the flames the immediate reason for that frothing was due to phosphorus i as i understand because of detergents in detergents we don't have any regulations in india where they do allow or where they limit the amount of phosphorus in your detergent so that's going in and apparently uh, from what i was given to understand that's one of the main reasons why it's frothing and to tell you the truth you know i am very disheartened by the swachh bharat mission you know as it is we have an administration that doesn't seem to know what to do if at all it is interested and on top of that we get told that we are one of the cleanest cities in the country the toxicity in the bilandu lake has only increased in the past 6 months yet nothing has been done by the officials which has led people to lose all their hopes even as a new bbmp elections approach so whether or not the winning party makes any effort to restore the lake remains the question of this hour with camera person siddharth saini this is anirvan dethyari reporting for comments tv we are heading for a short break coming up why few residents take civic matters in their own hands city bikers set new record on independence day Welcome back. With the BBMP elections just around the corner, the residents of Whitefield are looking towards collaborative development with the government. Jana Medhi reports. Friday has become a very important day recently for the residents of Whitefield. In light of the upcoming BBMP elections to protest against the apathy of the state government as well as to create awareness among voters they have decided to go all black. We have gone uh, black uh, to protest against uh, the poor conditions. A new force has come together and I hope this kind of moment uh, wakes the government and it's very important for all the uh, citizens to come forward and vote uh, the right corporate. We all know what happened uh, till now so we didn't want to repeat uh, the same in the next 10 years as well. So I think it's it's good that every one of us should come and uh, we should vote uh, on the streets. Yeah. The community known as Whitefield Rising has done true justice to its name by their contribution in the field of social development. And now they have been able to come up with a bridge program for the underprivileged children by putting together a school in the much overlooked Nalura Halli. Language becomes a barrier for the children of non-Kannadiga migrants on entering mainstream school and this initiative seeks to address the very root of this problem through this school. We got in touch with uh, Whitefield Rising, Nellore Halli Rising and together we have made it possible that this particular premises which you were on uh, it was completely unutilized for last 4 years. It's a government building but the government school never used it. So we uh, got Whitefield Rising get together put up lot of CSRs 
into pace and uh, they came they cleaned they painted they got the you know space encroachment free and everything happened within less than a month along with the children their parents too seem very eager and positive about the recent progress amar gram dekhi ami jekhon oshushto ekhane oshukh dekhate ashi i was very ill when i came here so teachers from this school came to me and told me to give my children to them and they will take care of their education while i got myself treated they taught my children maths english dance drawing etc we feel very delighted and satisfied with the amount of care these teachers take of our children the synergy among whitefield residents is not only restricted to the school but has taken multiple forms they are also working on the renovation of parks by various tree planting drives Apart from this they focus on clearing garbage of the streets and even fixing pavements and sidewalks. Are the basically kind of major initiatives we have taken uh, under uh, Whitefield Rising the spot fixes uh, the park and the school. We have a Facebook group so we uh, the Facebook group is Whitefield Rising. So uh, Whitefield Rising is a bigger umbrella and under that basically there are small small groups so let's say it's a ECC road uh, there's a Brookfield Rising there is a Nalu Ali Rising. Before elections people tend to list down grievances against the government but here at Whitefield people believe in being the change by fighting against all odds themselves The residents of Whitefield are taking matters into their own hands instead of sitting and waiting for the BBMP to come help them out even though there is apathy towards the government initiatives like these remind Bangaloreans what an aam aadmi can do with camera person Anil Mandeyatri and Mohammad Imtiaz this is Joyna Medhi reporting for Comets TV Bikers from Bengaluru set a new milestone by entering into the Limca Book of Records with their Independence Day ride to the Nandi Hills. Mohammad Intiaz has a special report. The wind in their face, the open road ahead and the freedom. These are enough to kindle the pulse of the Bengaluru bike lovers to hit the street. And like the previous years, they came back to set the trend again this year with the 7th edition of their Independence Day ride to Nandi Hills. This time they took the ride to a next level by entering into the Limca book of records having more than 2500 bikes at one place. The earlier record was set in Maharashtra with close to 1100 bikers. 2500 bikes. Woo! So we ride to Nandi Hills every year so that we celebrate the freedom and uh, you know integrity show us through the biking stuff. So that is what we basically have been doing for all these years and uh, and this time it was a pretty big because we were looking for the limca book of records the 80 km ride from bengaluru to nandi hill started at 6 am in the morning from kandirva stadium and ended at 10 am waving the indian flag the bikers rode across the national highway number no. 7 towards nandi hills celebrating spirit of independence members of more than 35 biking clubs of bengaluru like riders of bangalore the avengers rd 350 club KTM Duke Club and others joined the Independence Day ride to make it a grand success. From Arubi there are more than 150 riders joining the Independence Day ride. This has been happening every year that we join all the rides, all the Independence Day ride. We ride from Hebal to Nandi Hills, uh, sing the national anthem here and then go back to our places. Driven by their passion for riding, people from different professions and different age groups turned up in to be a part of this experience. So me and my friends we like to ride so we have a couple of guys from Chennai who actually come into Bangalore and from here on we uh, plan a certain place and then we just go out usually it's the extended weekends like 3 day weekends that we get so what we do is we we pretty much covered uh, you know places like Agumbe Chikmangalore be it a sports bike or a cruiser or even a commuter almost every types of bikes were seen moving up through the winding turns of the panoramic Nandi hills After reaching their final destination the organizers of the ride declared that they have officially entered the Limca book of records Some of the oldest bikers like 84 year old R Chakravarti joined the ride Nandi Hills bustled with the roar of engines on the 69th Independence Day as more than 5000 people came together to celebrate the meaning of freedom The ride of freedom brings back the joy of celebrating the spirit of independence day by the bangalore bike lovers and next year they promise to come back with more number of bikers 
With camera person Siddharth Saini, this is Mohammad Imtiaz reporting for Comets TV. That's all for now. Stay tuned for further updates on Comets TV. For more news, log on to CometsTV.com. Have a good day.